morning, everyone. Welcome to Science for Young Minds with Maravit Education Center. This series is for Pratom 6. Let's learn some vocabulary words. You will learn some vocabulary words related to food nutrients. Here are some vocabulary words for today. Are you ready? Here we go! Food additives Harmful Texture Appearance Please repeat the word after me. Food additives Good job! Let's spell it. F O O D A D D I T I V E S Food additives Great! Food additives are substances added to food to maintain or improve its taste, texture, and appearance. Can you try reading the sentence on your own? Great! Please repeat the word after me. Harmful. Good job. Let's spell it. H A R M F U L. Harmful. Great. Raw food may contain harmful bacteria. Can you try reading the sentence on your own? Great! Please repeat the word after me. Texture Good job! Let's spell it. T E X T U R E Texture Great! The texture of the road is rough. Can you try reading the sentence on your own? Great! Please repeat the word after me. Appearance Good job! Let's spell it. A P P E A R A N C E. Appearance. Great! Elsa is beautiful in appearance. Can you try reading the sentence on your own? Great! Now, fasten your seatbelts, class, as we continue to explore the world of nutrients. Today's lesson is the continuation of our discussion last time about the six types of nutrients. You have learned in our previous lesson that we need nutrients from the food we eat in order for us to grow and be healthy. 
you are going to determine the nutrients in food we eat. Identify the function of food additives and its disadvantages. Classify the energy requirement and study the quantity of some local food to be consumed and its corresponding energy value in calories. And lastly, value the importance of these concepts related to food and nutrients in order to survive and be healthy. Are you ready? Well, let's start! Can you read the title of our lesson? Great! Different foods contain different nutrients. Let's have the first example. What is the name of this food? Yes, these are apples. What are the nutrients that can be found in apple? Can you please read? That is right. Apple contained vitamins, carbohydrates, minerals, water, and fiber. Let's have another example. What is the name of this food? Yes, these are candies. What are the nutrients that can be found in candies? Can you please read? That is right. Candies contain only carbohydrates. Very good. Let's have another example. What is the name of this food? Yes, this is a plate of fried rice. What are the nutrients that can be found in this food? Can you please read? That is right. A plate of fried rice contains carbohydrates, fats, proteins, vitamins, and minerals. Great job! We have here the next example. What is the name of this food? Yes, these are eggs. What are the nutrients that can be found in this food? Can you please read? That is right. Eggs contain lots of proteins and fats and some vitamins and minerals. Good job! If you buy packed or canned food, the nutrients in the food are stated on its label. They are listed under its nutrition facts or nutrition information. What does the nutrition facts show? Can you please read? Great job! The nutrition facts show the amount of carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins, minerals, and fiber that we can get from eating the bread. Why do you think it's important for us to know the nutrients in the food we eat? This will help us in deciding which food to eat more and which food to eat less. What do you think is the function of food additives? These are substances added to food to maintain or improve its taste, texture, and appearance. So, here are the examples of food additives. Can you read them one by one? Very good. We have food colorings, food flavorings, and preservatives. More examples of food additives. E 
eating too much food that contains food additives is harmful to our health. Therefore, we should avoid or reduce the consumption of food containing food additives. Okay, that's great. This time, we will move on to energy requirement and food. Food gives us energy, but how can we measure the energy value in food? Hmm, energy value in food is measured in calories or joules per amount of food. Fats are the most concentrated source of energy, followed by proteins and carbohydrates. Please read the following different foods that contain different energy values table, starting from food to quantity and energy value in calories. For example, egg, one medium size, 78 calories. Each person needs a different amount of energy depending on his or her age, gender, and activity level. Please read the information in the table. Great job! If we take more energy than required, the extra energy will convert into fats under our skin and we will gain weight. If we take less energy than required, the body will use the stored fats as energy and we will lose weight. That makes sense, right? Yes, this is the reason why we need to have a balanced diet. Thank you so much class. See you in our next lesson.